throughout 2022, there was a lot of tech accessories that made their way through my home office. But towards the end of the year, there was a lot of them that I really cut out because I only wanted to keep ones that were actually making my experience better here, that were really improving my desk setup and making me really want to get to work and be productive at my desk. Now I'm going to share with you that list of my favorite gadgets that I bought in 2022 because I really think that you should get them for yourself for the year of 2023 to make your experience at your desk or your home office a lot better. Now starting off with the first one is getting a set of dedicated speakers for your desk setup. Now a lot of monitors have downward firing speakers. Sometimes they even have backwards firing speakers. So they don't really give you the best sound whenever you're watching something. And if you're on a MacBook and you like to keep it docked, usually you close the lid so even those speakers really suck whenever obviously the lid is closed because the speakers are on the inside of the macbook so having a pair of dedicated speakers actually helps you experience everything at your desk a lot better i personally watch a lot of youtube at my desk and i also game a lot so having a set of dedicated speakers at my desk has helped me really experience the game a lot better, as well as whenever I'm watching something or even something as simple as listening to music while I'm writing down some of the notes from my scripts has really helped elevate my experience here at my desk. Now, the ones that I have are the Edifier MR4s. I got them on sale for under $100, but they're usually around 120 or 130. They're one of the more budget ones, and they are supposed to be studio monitors as well as just normal speakers with like a click of a button here. But honestly, I use them only as normal speakers. I've never used them as studio monitors, mostly because whenever I'm editing my audio, I always like to use headphones to really hear any of the smaller noises that are in the background. I have found that whenever you're using speakers, some of those little lower sounds re are really easy to miss. So having headphones for all of my editing really helps me but the speakers are great for all of the content consumption anytime i'm playing anytime i'm gaming or listening to music here at my desk and the second accessory that i think is going to elevate your experience is getting a keyboard that works for you now i know a lot of people post keyboards online about which one is the best one but you have to remember that not every single keyboard works for every single person some people like the low profile one some people do like higher profile keyboards and whether you need a wrist rest or not really might depend on whether you go with one of the taller ones or whether you stick with a low profile keyboard. I personally have found that I really enjoy having mouse space on my desk. So I've gone closer towards a 75% keyboard just because I like having that function row as an extra row for any macros that I want to program onto the keyboard. But I also work on spreadsheets for my full time job. So I also kept a full size keyboard, the Keychron Q5, which actually isn't a full size, but it does have a number pad so that whenever I need to type up numbers, I can just use this keyboard and work straight on my spreadsheets without really having any issues finding numbers on the number row. But most of the time I am using the Keychron Q2 or the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini for Mac. These are two of my most used keyboards right now, mostly the Keychron 2 because I've really dialed it in exactly how I want it to sound and feel. I'm using some of the Gatoron Baby Kangaroo switches and then I also am using the Keychron white keys, the white keycaps, as well as I have the gray version of it. I feel like it really goes with the aesthetic of the desk and obviously of the Mac. It's more of a space gray version, which really matches my MacBook that's also a space gray. Now, you obviously don't need to have multiple keyboards for your desk, but you do need to find one that works well for you, that works with your workflow, whether that's having a number pad, not having a number pad, if it's whether it needs to be low profile because you have wrist problems or it needs to be high profile because you really like the clacking of the keys. And then obviously you can really mess around with the switches if you go with a custom one to really have a keyboard that sounds the way you want it to. Again, this is really personal preference based, so it's up to you to find one that really works for you. But having one that is going to help you is honestly one of the best decisions that you can make for 2023. Another accessory that I got in 2022 that I honestly think I should have gotten before is having a monitor light bar. Over the past couple of years, I've tried different lamps for my desk to really light it up and give me some sort of light whenever I'm working on it. And honestly, having a monitor light bar has been the best solution for me. And I think really for a lot of people, because if you see a lot of the desk setups, a lot of them have monitor light bars because they're just that good. 
Now, if you use lamps or if you're currently using a lamp, you might run into the issue where when you have it on or you have it pointing down from the top from wherever, whether it's a side lamp or if it's a taller lamp, you are going to get a lot of shadows and sometimes it will feel like it's pointing the light directly at your face. A monitor light solves that by being on top of your monitor and it's also angled downward so that it only lights up your desktop, wherever you're working, reading, writing, whatever it is that you are doing. Actually, I use this for whenever I'm typing as well so that whenever I'm at my desk typing, my MX Mechanical Mini for Mac doesn't light up, which gives me a lot more battery life on it. And it doesn't really need that backlight and all of my other keys that have south facing LEDs aren't really much of a problem because the keycaps are not shining through. So I do need to have a lit up space so that I can see what I am typing. Another benefit is that the monitor light is coming from across the desk so that whenever you are writing on a piece of paper or you're doing any task, you won't really get any shadows from your hand or from your body. It's actually one of the better purchases I have made ever to my desk setup because I do write a lot on my desk and I've also started to read at my desk. So being able to have a lit up desktop without having to worry about glare or about making sure that your desk is set up perfectly to wherever the lamp or the light is coming from in your home or apartment. Usually all of those ceiling ones will cause shadows as well. So being able to have something that really lights up where you are working has been a huge plus. Now, just like with the keyboards, another thing that's going to be essential is having a mouse that works for you. I have long been using the Logitech MX Master 3, and now I've upgraded to the 3S. Honestly, I didn't really upgrade because of the sound or any of the Bluetooth connectivity things, any of really of the new features. I only upgraded because it was a white one and I wanted it to match all of my other accessories here at my desk. So that's why I upgraded. But finding a mouse that works for you is probably one of the better things that you can do because just like with the keyboard, it's something that you are using all of the time whenever you are at your desk, whether it's finding for something on Chrome, browsing the web, typing things up, playing games. If you're someone that likes to game, finding a mouse that's the best one for you is going to be essential, especially if you spend a lot of time at your desk. Just like with the MX Mechanical Mini, the reason I went with the Logitech Mice is because of their Options Plus software. I really enjoy being able to customize all of the buttons as well as the MX Master 3 actually has a horizontal scroll wheel, which helps me at my full time job because I work in spreadsheets and being able to pan backward and forth on a timeline that's horizontal is really helpful rather than having to go and find that scroll bar and always having to click and drag it wherever you need it. And speaking about all those accessories, you also need to be able to connect them to your MacBook or to your laptop. And one thing I am using is a Moken USB-C dock that has multiple connections. It's able to take all of the accessories, my mouse, my keyboard, my MacBook, the light bar, the monitor speakers, every single thing can be connected to this USB-C dock so that I can connect my MacBook to the whole setup, the whole home office with only one cable. Now that is honestly the best feeling when you can get to your desk setup and hook up your MacBook with only one cable. That way you don't have to really worry about where am I gonna connect the mouse? Where am I going to connect the monitor? and everything else you can have it all connected to one single source and then you can connect that one straight to your macbook with only one cable now depending on your budget you can go with the moken one it's actually relatively cheap it is a third party one it only supports one monitor but it is under a hundred dollars and it usually is around 60 to 70 dollars which you can find on amazon i'll make sure to link that one down below but if you are on a more strict budget, you can get a USB-C hub. I've used the one from Anchor that also has seven different inputs. That one's around $30 on Amazon as well. That one, the only downside is going to be that it's not a detachable cord that goes to your MacBook. So it is connected to the hub, which is great for portability. But whenever you're at your desk, if you're thinking of placing your laptop, say across where your monitor is or on one certain side, being able to have those cables always attached to it, you have to remember to leave slack because now it's not only one cable that you're routing all the way to the opposite side of the desk. It's going to be all of the other cables attached to the hub as well.
this hub honestly hasn't given me any problems and it works really well for what I need it. So I don't see myself really switching or trading out of this one to another one anytime soon. But as you can tell, there's really not much that I've kept in my home office. All of these are the most essential things. I've kept only what I need to keep creating YouTube videos. I've kept everything that really makes me comfortable at my home office in my desk setup and really helps me enjoy my experience here let me know down in the comments what is one of the accessories that you're going to be getting for yourself in 2023 or if you already have one of these let me know down in the comments which one it is that we share in our desk setups thank you for watching and i will catch you on the next one